who don't know how to raise children. When my kid came to me and he said, Daddy, a wheel came off my toy car, and he gave it to me. And I said, so it did, and I threw it in the garbage. And I went back to my magazine. And then I washed that lower lip corner off. Then he started crying. I said, what's the matter? He said, you throw it away. I said, I'll get your baby toys where the wheels don't come off. He said, well, maybe I can fix it. So I gave it all again. And he's sitting on the couch, and he gets it together. In just a minute or two, gets it together. Then you pick my, how did you do that? It's wonderful. He says, I'm not that little. Mm -hmm. And but how did you do it? See the hole in the wheel, yes. See the piece of iron sticking up? I put the hole on and pushed on I said, that's wonderful. But if you say, here, let daddy do it, let mommy do it, do it. you produce a blob. You know what that means? You solve all your kids' problems. You have to put things upon them. So when my little girl walked into my lab when she was three years old, I put a wrench on her, not the wrong way, deliberately. I kept stripping it off, put her on the wrong way again. She's watching me, she puts her little hands on, that's no way to do it. I said, how about this, the wrong way. She said, I'll have to show you how. So she picked up the wrench, put her on her. It was obvious. I didn't want her to look up to me, wanted her to think.